It was a unique experience. I really found people who are connected to EV but still belong to very, very diverse background. I've been very happy to be here. It's a very well organized event. I'm very impressed with the level of participation that is here and the quality of the talks I've seen so far has been very good. Uh, we had a very good uh, factory tour, along with that very good panel discussions and sessions uh, regarding lithium ion batteries, lithium pack making, lithium cell making and along with that uh, the charging systems. Uh, also we talked about uh, EV ecosystem for India uh, with a comparison with case studies from all over the globe. So that's uh, something which uh, no organizer is kind of doing at this point of time. I think we have need to come to a reality. Uh, EV is still far away from a practical. And I think uh, it's need, there's a lot of innovation to be take place and we need to bring down the costs of the implementations. And then it's going to be practical. At the moment, the biggest uh, heat uh, we've been understand is the temperature and the battery lifespan. And maybe there should be more innovation to be take place to evolve in the battery. We are on the right path and probably in the next 30 or 40 or 50 years, batteries are going to rule the EVs. And I think uh, that is the uh, great opportunity for researchers like me who are working on developing high energy density electrode materials for batteries, which can probably reduce the size of the battery. Well, I think in the overall EV supply chain, all the kind of people we met today who are all great in their own spaces, they already know how this EV system must be taken forward. I think it's more the push, whether it is the large stakeholders from the government, from the infrastructure industry, from the OEs who have to really take their next steps. We have the real investors and the real stakeholders sitting here and based on the ideas which were shared here, I see a lot of uh, investments coming in because of discussions or ideas propagated here. I think the first and very important takeaway is that we need to all collaborate with each other. We do not have time to kind of waste or uh, spend on innovation on all different segments of it. We need to collaborate and make it faster, make it happen faster. And I think that Digatron has actually taken a very good step bringing in all CXOs together and uh, kind of deliberating on how to take the e-mobility forward. So this is a very good platform for CXOs to interact, to collaborate, learn and help the nation grow further.